Cheerio, old fellows and gals and whoever else is out there. So today I want to implement the ladders, the uh, climbing of the ladders. Now, if we look at it and we think about it, last time we did the chains, and really there is, it's almost exactly the same. So what I'm thinking is that uh, we're going to be able to utilize a lot of the code that we had for the chains and do that same thing for the ladder because really they mm, pretty much are the same type of thing. Uh, the only thing for the chains, of course, is you can't go all the way to the top, but with the ladder, that's going to be the, um, I guess, the sticking point that we, mm, we may or may not deal with this time. And that is when you get to the top um, or whenever you wherever you try to walk over the top of the ladder, you'll fall. But I think, um, I think we, should, uh, we should start with uh, basically getting the same, the same uh, functionality as we have with the chain. So with that, we need to go to the base level, and we need to understand that we have a ladder deal here that we need to uncomment, and we need to create a ladder. And I'm going to say... <clears throat> it needs to be an interactable. So we'll go in here and go new inherited scene from the base interactable. And the uh, sprite is going to be our la -da 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 whatever that is. And it should be coming up here and we've got it now. There it is, ladder. And let's create a collision shape for that. And I think... I'm going to make the collision shape kind of smallish so that it's going to behave a lot like a vine. Because remember, when the player touches it, he actually snaps to it. So I'm going to, we're going to have it, I'm going to make it this size and we'll see how that works out. And we can always make it larger if we don't like the way this works. So here's our ladder and I'm going to rename it to actually say ladder. We'll save it as a ladder. And then we'll go into the base level and we will drag that ladder into our letter slot. And now when we run the game and we go to the second level, uh, these should be actually be uh, objects and they'll be intriggerable right now. We have to, we have to uh, fix that. We can, um, I guess, you know, we could probably fix that right now, couldn't we? We have the base level and this is just a node 2D and we could add another, uh, just to keep things nice and Oh, I'm doing that wrong. Just to keep things nice and clean, we could add an interactables node, and then we could tell that base script to place that under interactables, um, as well as probably the chain. So let's rerun that real quick, and we'll verify that indeed those things are under the interactables. Beautifully done. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we'll go to the player script now. And we did have this climb chain state. And I wasn't sure about whether it should be just a generic climb state or not. And so thinking about it, we really have the same functionality with both the, the chain and the ladder. So I want to change that and do a replace on that. And we want to do, uh, instead of climb chain, I want to just make it say climb state and we'll match the case and do the whole word and we'll replace everywhere so now we're just a, we just have a climb state and <clears throat> and i'm going to call this i'm going to actually rename this too instead of vines we'll call it climbables so that we'll know how many climbables that we are currently over um and we'll, we'll we will do that as well control r i need to remember control r vines so we'll say climbables replace all and then we'll do last vine x. We'll also replace last vine x with last climbable x. Because we don't want to know that last x position of the climbable, the last climbable we were on, so that we can jump on and off of them and not have it be weird. So there we are. So <clears throat> now, number of climbables the player is hanging on to at any given time. And actually, this should probably be 0, 0.0 because it actually is a float and we get a little warning, which is irritating. So we'll leave it as a float. Now, um, if our interact type is chain, oh, that's another thing that we need to do. We need to go back to the ladder scene and we need to change the interactable type to ladder just so we'll know 
that it's a ladder. Well, that may become important later, but we're not not completely sure that that's going to be a necessary thing, but we'll go ahead and do it. So with that, if the area type is a chain or or we're going to do a nice little or here, or it is of type ladder. So either one of these, then we should perform this particular maneuver. <clears throat> so let's see what that gives us, if it gives us uh, anywhere near what we want. Okay, we know that that's not going to work. But can we push up here? So we're going to need to add a state that we can push up to climb. But let's jump on it. We can jump on it. That looks good. We can jump off of it. <clears throat> we can jump back on it. We can just push the jump button and it'll drop off just like with the chain. So same behavior there. Um, and while we're at it, instead of having to go to that same level again, I want to put a couple, let's put a couple of ladders on here just for test purposes. We'll add uh, some ladders uh, on this level. Just a few here and there just to climb around on just so that we don't have to go to that second level. Okay, so we've got that. So really what we want is we want to be able to, uh, from a, like say from a normal state in the player, where's our normal state? From our normal state, uh, here, right here. If, if we're not on the floor, then we fall. <clears throat> or we're looking horizontal, and if, the, if we jump, then we jump. Um, and then what we could say here, um, we could say else if, or elif, elif, we could say climbables is greater than zero. So if we have not more than, we have, if we have, if we are, if we are touching a climbable, <clears throat> um, then we can say, let's call that vertical to get a vertical position. And then we can say if uh, the velocity, the y, say the y velocity, if it's less than zero. In other words, if we want, if if the player's trying to go go up, then we can set that global x position to the uh, last climbable x position, and then we can just change the state to uh, player state dot climb. And if I spell it right, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? <clears throat> so that will, should allow us to climb, except there is one uh, thing that we're going to have to change. But here we are standing around, and let's wall over here. Watch what happens. So you see we immediately go into the climb position when we go through a ladder. That is because <clears throat> we're here in a normal state. Then we go to vertical. And if we <clears throat> go look at the vertical um uh, the vertical method or vertical function, we'll see that if our velocity is zero, uh, then we'll play climb idle. Otherwise, we play climb. So we want this actually to be wrapped. Um, we want we actually want to test and see if we are in the climb state before we do this kind of thing, right? So we want to say if state equals player state dot climb, then we want to do this. <clears throat> Otherwise. We don't want to show that. So he just, in other words, if he doesn't press up, then we just want to walk by like that. And that that does indeed work. But of course, this part, we still have an issue with that and we fix that momentarily. Okay, so there we are. And we are changing the state to climb. And actually, what we should probably do instead of saying climb chain, we should probably also remove, uh, change that to uh, climb, the function climb. Yes, we'll replace that. All right. So we are progressing quite nicely, if I do say so myself. Now, one of the things that we want to be able to do is get off of the, the ladder and actually get off of the chain as well. So uh, if we are in the climb state, so if we're in up here, we'll go back to the climb state. If we're in the climb state, uh, we do uh, climb, but we should check to see if the character is on the floor. If he is, then we should change the state to player state normal. That way he can get off of any vine or ladder that touches the ground. So that's um that's a good idea. <clears throat> now, 
Let's go down here and just check and make sure that we have these things in the proper in their proper deal here. Uh, so we say the chain, or if it's a ladder, uh, then and then we say if the state is jump, these this stuff seems to work just fine, I believe. And we change to the state climb. And actually, I'm just thinking, should we bring this down here and say if that, we probably should. That way uh, it will, it'll, it'll, uh, it should, we probably should do that. So it'll update correctly and we'll be able, I think that could cause issues uh, later on if we don't do it like that. So we'll do it like that instead. So we have uh, player state climbables equals zero and state is player state climb. So that all looks okay. So now what we should do is we need to figure out, okay, so there you are. So now we push up and we're under behind down the ladder. If we go all the way down, we are, if we push up, climb the ladder, back down, we're back to normal state. So that's exactly what we want. And we can actually jump and grab onto the ladder and we can do the ladders however we want. Now, this is the part uh, that we're gonna need to fix and we probably, yeah, we'll probably fix this maybe next time. We may ignore it for a while, which is boom. So as soon as we, we walk over a ladder, uh, it, we, we fall to the ground and we don't want that. But as you can see though, we have all of the mecha mechanics of our ladder uh, sorted out such that we can jump from ladder to ladder and from vine to ladder and all sorts of in-between type things. We can get on and off of the ladder from the bottom. And the only thing we can't do is when we get to the top, we'll fall all the way to the bottom like that. So, and we, we can always jump off like so. And we can probably just jump on like that. So we will, uh, we'll call it complete for now, or we'll call it at least finished for the purposes of this episode. And um, we'll see you next time, I suppose. Now look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I just saw something there. Um, we just tried to jump from, so did I mess something up? Yep, look at that. I wanna be able to jump from here to here and it didn't, it didn't allow it. So perhaps I was wrong when we did this. So let's check and it's, yeah, that's, we actually do, <laughs> that does need to be in the if statement, doesn't it? Cause we're for jumping uh, and we, come upon another item such as that. Well, let's do this. Yeah, that's, that's the right, that's the right way to do it. Yeah. Oh, now I just saw something there. Let's check this. Okay, that's all right. And how about, yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm thinking <clears throat> that we may Um, I, let's let's check uh, this last climbable X. We may want to like reset it uh, when we when we get to something like normal. I'm thinking. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure why I'm setting it here. We may not even need to. We probably don't need to set it here because <clears throat> the uh, the. Um, Oh no no we do because this is this only gets entered in if we're if we're doing the jump. So yeah yeah that that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. So what I think I like to do is uh, let's see horizontal normal let's let's say <clears throat> if you just press jump that's fine. But else horizontal if all right I'm breaking in right here uh, we have a little bit of a bug and I wanted to make sure to fix it before I uploaded this particular video. And that is if we walk off this ladder and we push up, you'll see that we completely disappear. And that is because um, of what I had for some reason. Well, anyway, I had this correct, 
but I changed it back. And that is we need to set anytime we enter a chain or a ladder, we need to set that last climbable X equal to uh, the uh, global position of that particular area. And note that if we do that, uh, we're fine. And we can even still uh, jump from chain to chain and whatnot. Uh, so I want to make wanted to make sure that we I had that in here and also uh, here I want to say if I'm on the floor uh, and my velocity dot y is greater than zero in other words I'm climbing down I just want to make sure that boom we come off like that so I just wanted to add that in there that wasn't causing an didn't seem to be causing an issue but I I can see how it could so with that I'll let you go for real this time thanks a lot.